twisted, it's only one handed quick skid. It's out straight, none of this up in the air thing. And another thing I believe in with that pack is, uh, I'd love your comment, or anybody else's, of course. I think it says in the notes, the ideal thing would be this, that I would hoop pack, and when he's hooped, I then go in and get the ball. Now I saw one on that one. Well, I think it's the year. Because the year of the wet days, I saw my beach piece um, in Croke Park when Martin Dobby was there. Are they about 1974 or 73? Because it's all winter, so just after the three in a row. That's good. I hope I can know. Am I right? I think I'm right. Now, I know, could anyone recall this? In the first, since the first half. 76, then. 76, was it? In the first oh, half, this is what happened. Something like this now. The goal was there, Matt and Coleman and Gold. Uh, sorry, he was over here, I think, the chap. No lane, there's no lane, I'm certain. He was over here, Pat, turning up your back to me, like, you know. And Martin, what was it now? Yes, Martin had hooked him here. And then he came around to, after hooking him to bring the stick, and your man said, into the lane. I know, anyone remember that? Because it happened, I know it, and I saw it in film again. I remember it as, as an example of... Now, I don't know would you agree with this, Pat. I'd love your comment on anybody's, because nobody knows all about holding up a tent to have all the answers. I certainly do not, but I, this is only my opinion. I think I would always tell kids, when you hook them once, be ready to hook them again. Because you try a second time. And if you hook them a second time, you won't try it third time. Because he'd be caught. And I think, generally speaking, that's true about, about kids. And adults, too, at times. I think it's the safest. You want to be a very skilled adult to hook them and get in fast and win the ball, you know. You want to be you want to have time to the last, you know, I think. And I'm scared of coming in half late. But the, uh, the, the, the real classic of, of hit me in the face is going into attacking this way. Because that's what it means, it means hitting the there or there. So, and it's horrible. So whenever you're going, go in. If you stay out, when in doubt, stay out. When in doubt, stay out. Because you won't do any harm that way. Don't ever go half in. And don't go in. And when you're doing that tackle, I do it with kids first and let them flatten me if possible, I'm sure. You know what I mean? I'll put me back, you know, because it's important. Pat, any comment, my dear boy? I am going to the hoop. When you are hooking, you see a lot of young kids and they don't have full control of the hurling. It's not as if the hands drop, the hurling drop, you know? They don't have the small end of the game. That's why it's very important, as I said, small end, to have the strong hand on top of the hurling. It's very hard to hook, you know? We have to have the straight out something they don't have sufficient strength to find their hand or, or control of the hurling. Like, they're simply able to drop like and they don't hook properly. You know? And it makes that they're if they know straight that the hurling will if it, it, it just touches their it slide on there anyway. If you, you go off then you go off the course, you know? So keep it straight out there. I'm going to interrupt you to say one thing for adults mostly. For an adult, maybe you like, might like to hook that way. Because you might destroy that in after hooking, you know? Oh yeah. Another thing too, by the way, if adults, your intermediate team, whatever. If you're going to do any session on hooking, get old horses. I want to have old ones. Don't tell me you have them. Some old horses that you wouldn't mind injuring slightly here. Would you? How would you say no, that? Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying that's right now, or even up that way. That sounds hard to me because you must change the grip. But maybe. Uh, you have seen this video. I, I find it hard to do anything except that now. To be honest with you, you know, I find it hard because that's quick and you're ready to come in again and oh, hook you again. Don't you know? Right. Any other comments, Pat? Or anybody else has? you anything to say about your story? You were just saying the other about young lads, especially among the seniors and, uh, and the intermediates, I would think, would maybe pull twice on the ball and realise that he's still there, he's going to hook yeah. instead of hooking it away or something. Yeah. But with smaller lads, they're still going to keep swinging them. No matter how many times they're hooked, they'll keep swinging the hurley around maybe yeah, a dozen times. times. Right. No. Especially well, a big fella. If there's a, this, <coughs> the gargantuan thing is there, you see, he'll pull and there's a pygmy behind him. <coughs> That's the hooker. Right? <laughs> what? They're bloody hell. There must be somebody else in the field beside myself. I didn't think there was. You know, and off he goes again, hooting it. And holy God, is why I think. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he'd do that at all, Tom. You know, that's exactly the kind of thing that often happens. <coughs> I'd be scared of this beautiful thing in the notes about getting in to play the ball away. Well, I didn't see any, but in fact, it's not so good. You might come in at the wrong t moment, and you might not be exactly behind him and you might get the tail end of a swing. There's one other thing, lads, I'm trying to tell young lads. I tell them, when you're putting out the hurley, put out that hand to balance yourself. <coughs> it's just in case there's an awful, awful hurley who might swing around and that hand would most certainly 
give you that confidence and protection. Most of them guys a tap of the thick one anyhow. That should be the flat of the whole way around here, you know. Just in case there's any reservations <coughs> about doing it. But it is safe once you get to judge it. And it's very important Pat that you'd I'd move on if he ran up the field I'd move on after him and you would by the way, you know Pat that you'd um if you went for a little trot, Pat would go for the slight trot, all right? All right. He would throw his imaginary ball, I would try his hook, yeah. and we'd all look back. But imagine you were, <laughs> right, right. the goalers would say you were running up the wind here, the goalers go over the trot, you know? Then I would follow, is it Pat? Oh, he'd be behind him, he'd oh, he's throwing up and out. Oh, oh, and he's off again. Oh, be the gods above. Oh, oh dear, he's off. And I know the way to that. Do anyone know the way to that?